A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? 
when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him? Someone left in the Rosemary and Time in their will. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Uh, help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short and have around. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's a witcher for anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys get tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well... How long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth.
Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Rocky, come on! We can't kill him! Back in the back! Flat freak. Uh, reminds me of a taste of war. <laughs> yeah, almost like we never left Virgin. Told you this place was not good. Oh, not another trappy. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. I'm looking for Ciri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem, then. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, by chance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her! Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot like a boar in some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. From the finest vineyards, every last one. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Huh. This the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. No seen him this obsessed ever. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. 
Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies at my half you interrogate the ones on yours. Such a... Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Take this coin and leave. That ain't how it works. Vespulas to pay or be taught a lesson. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Now go before I teach you a lesson. Come on. Gold's gold. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful sorry. Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lying scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Course it so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. 
What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. I'll wait. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired a chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. 
Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, mm. but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the Bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him. Though, Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly, after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. I'd rather resolve what I have to with Molly. Very well. I shan't insist. The attractive one. That's Molly. Speak to her. The Pyroness and I will place our wages. You can then ride back to Novigrad with us, if you wish. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her, looks after her, the way he carried her packages and 
Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. What do you want? Want to see Rosa for Atra? Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. And kids. Interesting. You fancy men like me? Whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? Well, I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa Par Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. You realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. Second. Take care not to hurt the little miss. Or you'll follow me.
you're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking... A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Incredibly. But we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Ratchet! You're quick! Damn it! Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Va Artra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Quiet. Ooh, now that's a mentor. Strong and decisive. Perhaps it's time I took up swordplay. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. What are two young Nilfgaardian aristocrats doing in Novigrad? Dying of boredom. Papa's a diplomat. He also has many business dealings in Novigrad. He's a member of the Trade Corporation. Takes us along everywhere he goes, and must then find us new tutors in each spot. And so in Novigrad, the task fell to the poet Dandelion. Rosa's betrothed. Edna! Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. 
we stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Changing subjects. Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Sorry, Rosa. Afraid I can't at the moment. Farewell, then. Oh, payment for your time.